Disclaimer. This contains fictional characters and do not take it in real life. I repeat, do not take ID personally. It doesn't related to idols personally. They are just in this fictional characters in this story and I am doing voiceover. So if you don't like voiceover, you can mute this video. And if you still don't like it, you can kindly leave this place. And maybe it can be a bit dramatic as well. Because after all, it's my imaginary story, not a real. And do not repeat this story of mine. Storylines are edited by me. Thank you. You can enjoy it now. Sorry for taking your so much time at first. Both are admiring the moon's beauty, but she suddenly turned towards him, making suspicious face, looking at him weirdly. Why are N? Wait a minute. You look at him weirdly. Jungkook. What? Why N? Why you suddenly brought me to have this? I am glad you did, but I am still curious you look at him suspiciously raising your eyebrow, making him gulp. Because, because he can't tell you the actual reason. Jungkook, it's full moon today and I love to watch full moon, so I bring you with me. Why, don't you like it? He somehow managed to make you believe while trying to hide the actual truth. Why and, no no, of course I loved it you smiled because I still remember when I was small kid, I used to watch this beautiful moon with my soul both of your smile dropped after realizing what you're going to say. Why and, see, I remember every single detail of your moment with me. But why can't I remember your face, your name and all you though? Looking at the moon again. Jungkook, I am sorry, princess to hurt you like that, but just wait for right time. Everything will be fine he thought looking at your face which is showing smile. But he knows your heart is not smiling like you're showing in your face. Jungkook, okay it's getting late for let me drop you home he said making you immediately denied. YN, no you said in high pitch. Jungkook, why? He got confused. Why and? Like how we'll tell him that we are vampire. Me, Jaimin, and Taehyung don't live at any house. We just disappear at night. Aish. Why or N now what do I do? But he actually wanna drop you. But he doesn't know that you didn't bought any house. But he mentally facepalm himself after listening her thoughts. Jungkook. Aish this girl. How can they not manage any house? Now let's see what will she do to save herself he smile internally. Jungkook. What happened? Yn. Uh, Mr. Jian, I will just go by myself. Jungkook. Firstly you can call me Jungkook when we are not in office. Yn. Okay Jungkook Appa. Jungkook. I said only Jungkook. Yn. Okay, only Jungkook can. Jungkook. Are seriously dumb or acting like dumb? He look at you with your poker face. Yn huh? Jungkook. What huh? Yn. Wait, wait. First you said call me Jungkook and I added Appa because you're older than me. And secondly you said to call you only Jungkook and I did that. And you're calling me dumb? How many he sigh in disbelief like he was teasing you. But instead here you're teasing him by your innocent talks. Jungkook. Aish. What have I done to this girl? Why she always talk like this? Yn. Like what? Jungkook. Like nothing. Go home alone. I won't drop you you immediately jump in happiness because your innocent act. You successfully make him agreed to not to come with you, but stopped when you saw him giving you weird look. YN. Um so thank you for today's small treat and watching beautiful moon with me. Jungkook you thank him because you genuinely feel happy and for a second you forget what you're here for. Jungkook. Say that again. YN. Say what? Jungkook. My name say that again. YN. Jungkook you become confused but still say it for him, which make him smile because it's the first time when you call him by his name. Because at that time you just used to call him Koo or Kook with that baby voice of yours and which you can't even pronounce it properly. Jungkook. My name sounds good from your mouth he smiles, making your heart flutter from the unknown feeling. YN. Okay. Bye you just wanna run away from here because seeing him smile for the first time, making your heart beat faster and you're feeling the unknown feeling which you never felt before. You immediately run away, making him chuckle. Jungkook. My cute little devil he said and make his way towards his home. The next morning. Jungkook was late for the office today that's why he was moving towards his cabin fastly but in the way someone bump in him he was about to shout at the person whoever it was but immediately stops when he saw. Jaimin. I am sorry Mr. Jian. I was hurry. That's why I didn't saw you Jaimin come to meet Y or N because she forget her purse at home which she might need. That's why he thought to bring it to her in hurry. He bumps in Jungkook. Jungkook. 
Jaiman he said while looking at his one and only younger brother whom he meets him after many years, Jaiman, Mr. Jion. He was also confused because he saw Jungkook freeze on his spot while looking at him continuously. Jaiman. Why am I feeling that he is someone very close to me? He was also feeling some connections between both of them, but doesn't know what is it and what relationship he has with him. Only Jungkook know him. Jungkook. How are you brother? He wasn't able to control himself from asking about his well-being. Jaiman. Huh? He frowned I am good Mr. Jian even though he was confused he thought he was being casual with him as both our business partner. Jaiman. Mr. Jian. Are you crying? He sounds worried because he saw a tear in corner of his eyes making Jungkook comes back in reality. Jungkook. No. Looks like something go inside my eyes that's why he rubbed his eyes pretend to remove that thing but actually removing is little tear away. Jungkook. Okay. See you after a while he said and immediately go away without letting him speak. Jaiman. Should I go behind him? He follow behind him because he was worried about him for the unknown reason. Jungkook come in isolated area where not many people are allowed and make a phone call in with. In a sec that person answer his call. Jin. Kook what's up he said in cheerful voice. Jungkook. Jin Hyung. I meet him he said in broken voice making Jin worried hearing his voice but other third person is confused. Jaiman. Is he talking about me? But why he is crying? He tried to listen more, but received a message, which was from you, saying him to come fast, so he couldn't listen more conversation. But he was now curious and suspicious about him. Jin. What happened? Why are you crying? He was also worried listening his broken voice. Jungkook. My brother Jaiman after I got to know about him I just meet him today Hyung I missed when we will go to our family Hyung. He now tearing up while complaining to his one and only Hyung who was with him since the first. He shows he is merciless and strong, but he is too sensitive about his family. Jin. Jungkook. Ah, uh, listen, we waited till like 10 years. Now we just have two weeks left. After that, our princess will be 22 years. Yesterday was the full moon. And on the day of red moon which was the day when that witch put spell on Y or N that will be removed. We will be free. Jin. Now you understand it, right? Jungkook he said, making him understand like a small kid. The reason Jungkook has to stay away from you was your stepmother who was Taehyung's biological mother. But she was a cruel witch who is just hungry for power and throne. Your father was also king of another kingdom, but was good friend with Jian kingdom. Your dad genuinely love your stepmom after your mom Diath. But she was just pretending to be nice. She just want to marry her own daughter with Jungkook so that she can get Jian empire by using her daughter. But you were already his soulmates. That's why Jungkook parents rejected that proposal and keep you with them. But she got mad and jealous of you and start a war by putting black magic on your dad and hide him. And threaten Jungkook to stay away from her. She put a spell on you that if YN's related will come near her, then her heart won't be alive. Because it was so weak that time. Because she was still a little child. But she has keep limits. That after 20 years in the red moon day, if Y or N is still with Jungkook, that's mean their bond are strong. They can be reunited. But if Y or N hated him for leaving him, then they can't be soulmates and he has to marry her daughter and Y or N can't be alive. Jin and Jungkook are related to Y or N that's why they has to stay away from her and that witch took Jaiman away to threaten Jungkook parents to not to stop her. She was more cruel that she even left Taehyung with Jaiman and abandoned them in a poor family. That witch is still hidden with your father because she got cursed for 20 years with you for the sin she did. Jaiman and Taehyung didn't have any memory that who was their own parents and who was the real family. But the fate make them reach to the same Jian empire where they belong to, but didn't know anything. Because Jungkook's parents though that witch already KAL Jaiman and Taehyung. That's why they didn't recognize they are their own child. But you treated them as your own siblings and as well as your best friend even they work under you. Only Jungkook Jin and your father know that Jaiman is JK's younger brother and still alive. Taehyung is also your and Jin's brother which that witch and so-called mother ditch him. Both are unknown about everything. Now the biggest mystery is going to solved of their life. After two weeks in the day of Red Moon, you both can be reunited as well as that which will be released. And your both bond are getting stronger day by day. So you can fight against that witch. But you are still unknown about everything because, because you just come to earth to search your love and your soulmate. Author. I hope everything is clear now let's get back to the story. After talking to Jin, 
Jungkook came back to the cabin and saw you were doing your work with full focus and computer. And he smiles seeing you so delicate to your work. But his smiles replace with poker face seeing you sleeping with eyes open. He thought you were doing your work. But no. You're dozing off with your eyes open. And even in straight posture make you look like you're actually looking at screen. But he saw you smiling in your dream. Jungkook. Whom are you smiling at in your dream? Princess Jealousy took over him and Jungkook. MSYN. He banged his hand in the desk making you immediately get up and run away towards the door while shouting. YN. Yeah yeah the building is falling off. Come on run everyone fast you run towards the door without realizing what actually it was. Making him sigh and face palm himself seeing your stupidity. But you stopped realizing the roof and still there and nothing is falling off. You look around when you meet a pair of dark eye looking like a. A lion looking at his prey before eating. Jungkook. Are you done with your daydreaming? He asked while leaning on his desk, crossing his arms on his chest. YN. I wasn't daydreaming sir I was just thinking now again your stupid brain works. Jungkook. Thinking about what? YN. Thinking about how much hard work you do right? To build your this big company? I am proud of you you said, buttering him up so that he can let you go. But instead he smirked. Jungkook. Oh you always think about him how sweet he said teasingly making your eyes go widen. YN. No no, not at all. I was just thinking about the company. Nah, no, I wasn't thinking about you. Never you said immediately, covering yourself up in every way possible because you were really dreaming about him, but can't say it to him and you thought to butter him up, little, so that he can let you go. But looks like you will slip on that butter yourself. YN, Aish how can you expose yourself like that think why or n think what can you do to make this cold hot mafia looking big boss let you go. He choked on himself while listening to your thoughts. Jungkook. Aish this pervert girl in thoughts also flirting with me that to with her boss then what will happen when she will go to know that I will be with her partner for the lifetime. He was shocked by your pervert self. Even you don't know he is your soulmate. But still you can feel it and also flirting with him in your mind. Jungkook. Before your mind went crazy again let me change the topic by myself. Jungkook. Okay, I will let you go this time. But remember, don't you dare to sleep in office time. Okay you nodded cutely, making him smile internally because he knows you're happy because he let you go easily. YN. Yes big boss you salute like army making him sigh. Jungkook. Okay, today evening is the party. So you're my secretary. So you have to be there. You have to be with me all the time. Get it? You nodded. YN. Yes I will be ready but will Jaimin and Taehyung will be there you asked making sure you won't be alone because they will be by your side. Jungkook. They are my business partner. So of course they will be there you nodded. YN. Okay. Jungkook. Now don't you dare to sleep like that and do your work properly understand. YN. Yes I will do my work properly without sleeping you obey immediately not wanting to create any drama. Jungkook was waiting for you in the entrance so that you both can go together. Because you're going to come with Taehyung and Jaimin so he don't have to worry about you. He saw you a car stopped near the entrance, he assumes that it must be you guys. So he patiently wait for you get down. But his breath hitched after seeing you in that beautiful blue dress. Which match your vibe and fits your body perfectly. Making you look so ethereal and beautiful. He was in red dress. It was like both of you are representing. Your sign you as water sign blue and he as fire sign red. You saw him and smile at him, walking elegantly towards him. But your foot trip on the dress because of that high heels. You doesn't like it since the day you wore. But what can you do? You can't wear that sneakers in this dress. That's why you choose to wear that. Here, Jungkook who was lost in your beauty, come back in reality after you nearly fall because of that long dress and high heels, making him mentally face palm walk towards you. YN. Aish this idiot heels, how can you trip me just like that? Don't you know that I was looking beautiful? And you should also look like that idiot here you make me embarrassed. That too in front of our hot big boss, Jungkook. See? Even talking to that freaking heels. Or mostly blaming that heels to make you trip and even saying to behave properly. Silly girl he shook his head. Listening to your thoughts and come towards you. Jaimin. Aish why or n are you okay? He come running to you because he was getting down from the car while you nearly fall down. Taehyung. How can you just trip even in this plain surface? He shook his head looking at you. Why or n? 
because I love to fall whenever I want. Is that any problem with you? You said sarcastically, rolling your eyes at him annoyingly. Jungkook, even they both don't know yet but actually fighting like siblings. Jungkook, are you okay Y or N? Y N, yes, I am okay, Mr. Jeon. Ask that floor instead if it is okay or not you said, giggling, but he just stare at you, making you stop. Y N, sorry you said slowly making him let out small chuckle but you look at him shockingly. Y N, Mr. Jeon, did you just chuckle? You asked with a maze face, Jungkook. No I cried he said with poker face making Vimin brust into laugh, Jimin. You got some humor Mr. Jeon he laughed with Taehyung making Jungkook too smile at him. Taehyung, by the way, our party is here outside. He asked confusingly, making everyone face palm. Jungkook, of course not let's go inside he said and three of them go inside but you're still there being ignored. Yun. Wah, wow. he even forget me, didn't he? Said I am his secretary and have to be with him all the time. But he left without me with his business partner. Should I just turned around and leave from the same way that I come here you said sulking with him for the unknown reason. You look at his back when he suddenly stopped and turned around after hearing your thoughts. Jungkook, Ms. Y or N you have already come all the way here then why not go inside and enjoy with me? He said and offered his hands which you didn't accept it and go inside without him. Jungkook, my cute little angry dragon he chuckled, and also follow you from behind. Time skip. You were just sitting with Taehyung and Jaimin while glaring at the certain person while sipping in your juice time to time who was busy with some guests. Taehyung, stop looking at him like you will have him for dinner today he said, making you choke on your drink and glare at him, YN. Who is looking at him like that? You immediately denied. Jaimin, like we haven't noticed anything since last 30 minutes. You weren't gazing at him like he will vanish somewhere. Even you blink for a second, he said teasingly. YN, no, I wasn't looking at him like that. But I was just trying to figure out lick why I feel weird when I am around him. Don't you feel any kind you or around him you were confused at your feeling, making them also think deeply. Taehyung, yes, it's been a month. We are here, and I also feel strange around him, and especially with Jin Hyung, I feel connected, I don't know why. Jaimin, by the way today something strange things happen both of them look at him curiously. Jaimin, by the way, today something strange things happen both of them look at him curiously. YN, what strange? Jaimin, remember I come to give you your purse in your office and I bump on him. He was so angry and was about to shout at me. But he immediately calmed down when he see me both of them look at him confusingly. YN, he didn't shout at you. Hum this is something strange. Jaimin, not only this, but yes. He was kind of freeze after seeing me. Like he was talking to me casually like I was his long lost brother he said seriously. But both of them laugh at him, making him confused. Taehyung, long lost brother? He chuckled. Taehyung, you both are like the sky and land. You can't never be matchy again. Laugh. But Jaimin was serious about it. YN. Jaimin you must have misunderstood it. He was talking to you casually because you're his business partner. That's why okay just chill. She said. Making Jaimin relax a bit. But before he could say anything. Some guests come to meet them as they are now in business field. Who was working with top businessman Jian Jungkook. YRN was just standing there alone while looking at the group who were busy with guests. They are Jaimin Taehyun. Jungkook Jin and Jay. Hope. They are any people know and feel comfortable around them. Other than that, she never approached to anyone. Neither other invade into her life. She was just enjoying the slow music playing in the background alone. But someone sit beside her. She doesn't care, whoever it was, until that person speak. Want some company? He said sweetly but she didn't give damn about his voice. YN. No. I already got myself she said without looking at him. Jack, by the way my name is Jack he again said, YN, I already know his intentions this idiot I am showing no interest in his talk or even his whole existence still he can't keep his mouth shut you roll your eyes internally. Jack, I heard you are the new secretary of Mr. Jeon. YN, yes I am. Jack, you're so beautiful by the way he said seductively. YN, I know you don't have to say you said being straightforward. Jack, oh playing hard to get. Let's see. He smirk mumbling but you heard him but I was just complimenting you he said in flirty tone, making you roll your eyes. YN, stay away from me trust me you won't like the consequences you said warning him but he smirk more. Jack, 
What consequences, lady? But you will like the results more he said trying to touch you but you jerk him off. YN, this jerk has to stay away from me before I lose my mind and show my inner devil to him. Meanwhile, Jungkook is hearing you every conversation and your mind to he isn't doing anything because he knows you can handle this situation very easily. Jaimin. What the heck is that man trying to with her? He is also looking at the scene. Taehyung. Just chill bro just wait the drama is about to start he said while looking at you while smirking because he saw you getting red because the amount of anger you're trying to held. Jaimin. I know our devil princess will handle this situation. I am not worrying her. Instead I am just worried about that man after he pulled the daring stunt in front of her he whisper. Jin. Yeah. Don't you see? He is clearly flirting with him. He is getting annoyed because how the hell he is so calm even though that jerk is flirting with his dear princess. And here you're trying not to show your devil side but this flirty jerk is testing her patience so much. YN. This ugly jerk. Now I can't hold it anymore. Jungkook. 1, 2, 3. He smirks in the count of 3 that man is in the ground while groaning while everyone is looking at you shockingly because even after you break his teeth and one flying kick on his face you're beating him up like crazy. Here other 5 person is looking at you proudly, seeing you beating that man while cursing him uncountable times. Extra. YN. How dare you monkey how you kick him again. YN. I told you. You won't like the consequences but you wanted to show the results. You again press your heels in his hands, crashing his bones into pieces, but you won't give FK about that, Taehyung. Stop her bro otherwise she will get into her original self soon and no one can stop her. He was enjoying at first, but now he is afraid that you will reveal your true self, which can be trouble for everyone and them too, Jaimin. No I can't dare to do that just look at her turning into devil both are scared from stopping you. But someone pull you off from that person because you nearly change into your vampire self. And who can dare to stop you? It's none other than Jungkook. YN. Leave me before I start the war with you instead of him you said growling at that person without knowing who it was it. Jungkook. Stop now. You will hurt yourself he said and pulls you back from your waist. Hugging you from behind while you are still shivering from anger. But slowly calm down when he rub your back. But don't know how your anger flew away after hearing his voice. Jaimin. Whoa, bro, how does she calm down so quickly? He was surprised when he saw you getting calmed down quickly when Jungkook hold you, YN, that ugly jerk was flirting with me and try to touch me that's why I beat him you said explaining yourself. You though he might find you unreal and everyone else is also scared seeing you're this side. Jungkook, everyone else will do the same but you're brave enough to teach him lesson I am proud of you he said assuring you that it's okay. Jin. Whoa why or and you look like a superwoman while beating him he also praise you. Jope. And I will make sure to give him to police for sure and give him Ross punishment he said smirking making Jungkook to smirk. Because he knows where will be the police station and who will give him the Ross punishment for touching her. YN. Yes but before that you give him last kick with satisfactory smile on your face making everyone face palm. Jaimin. Aren't you still not statify that you're still kicking him even though he is faint he said making you smile. YN. Ani now I am feeling more satisfy you smile in victory. Taehyung. Okay shall we leave now he said to you and you three left the party. On the way home. Jaimin. By the way Y or N how did you calm down so easily? Taehyung. Yes as far as I remember you can't calm down even though you call that person whoever look at you but how did you calm down this easily this time? YN. Yes. I am also surprised that no one can stop me after I become angry. But the way he pulled me said stop it, my anger immediately calmed down. Don't know how? The only one who can control me is my soulmate. Jaimin. YN. He look at you as he can be the one? He said seriously, making you think deeply. YRN. Let me confirm it if he has fire sigh in his arms or not.